God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. He did, there was no Holy Ghost. How could they know unless they were told? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Jackson. Yeah. Um, okay, so what's, when we first started this dialogue this morning, um, we were talking about how our flesh was, you know, uh, uh, you know rising up, right? Uh -huh. And as I'm listening to this and we talk about the, the Holy Ghost in us and love in us and all of that, um, what came to me was the fact that as we, as individuals, likewise look at others in comparison to, you know, to, I guess I could say how we feel. Sometimes we as Christians only take this love thing, this, this being in the spirit thing, to the point that we agree with what's going on. Mm. And then at the point that we disagree, okay, our flesh starts rising up. And the next thing you know, we, we have this, this, this conflict. So, you know, the, the, the one aspect of love is, is, is sacrifice and love gives. Love is, is gives of itself um, for the benefit of someone else. So I'm just going to throw this out that when we look at the political situation that's out there, when we look at um, all of our brothers and sisters, in regards to color and uh, where they come from, what culture, um, you know, how are we to approach um, each other? And, and 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 when we find somebody contrary to maybe what we're thinking in our own minds, um, how are we going to respond to them? Um, do we respond from the scripture? Um, do we say likewise, as Jesus said to, to Peter, you know, get thee behind me, Satan? It's because what we tend to do is we attack uh, anybody that's contrary to what we're thinking. We attack the individual. And... Um, we forget that there's a, a spiritual aspect to this whole thing. Right. And so so I hear what we're saying, but if we are really talking about operating in love, if we're really talking about operating in the spirit, then um, listen, we are, we are, uh, and, and Brother Addison, you know what you're saying, I'm, I'm like, you know what, we're going to be in awe as this spirit within us teaches us how we're to deal with our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. um, in the spirit and out of the spirit, okay? Um, and so I, I, I guess, uh, and this is, you know, how we, when we're talking about these things, how it kind of points back to self, because that's kind of what I, I, I'm going to obviously be challenged with is that, okay, because you know, in a few minutes, when, when we finish with this, I'm going to go be around some people uh, they, they, they think differently than me. Yeah. <laughs> And so in the spirit, then, uh, am I going to let Satan creep in like he did with Eve? You know, because we talked about that, right? right, right. Am I going to let him creep in? Am I going to let, or am I going to operate in the spirit, which is what my choice is right now, okay? Um, and, and have that kind of spiritual conversation, that kind of spiritual dialogue, kind of like what we're doing right now. Right. But um, so I'm just throwing that out there because each time uh, 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 we have this uh, each week, you know, I'm trying to when I say the practical, when I say practical, I'm talking about the spiritual practical way to go yeah. about my day, not yeah. the secular practical way to exactly. go about yeah. my day. Right. Amen. And Amen. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I appreciate what you guys are bringing up because, uh, uh, yeah, that's the that's the that's my small step. Right. That that's I'm where the rubber hits the road. Amen. It's, 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 it's really a discerning why am I interacting with this person? Why am I mm -hmm. even sharing with them? What's my conversation with them supposed to be about? And if, it is, if I'm not interacting with that person out of the love of God, then I have to really try to assess what my purpose in their life is at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And I think it's a self-check that, that, that's useful to all of us because we have different agendas. You know, I'm, I might... I don't know. Sometimes I just want to feel good about myself. You know, I'm doing for you because I want to feel good about me. I'm not doing it because you need it. I'm doing it because I need it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of times our we really have to question our own motives and allow the Lord to align us with him in our interaction with one another. Well, what uh, I want Elder, Elder, is it true though, if you, if you, let's get back on his agenda, right? That, that commission 
when you want to say commission or not or just say go you the agenda is what his agenda was those things we just talked about go preach right go preach the gospel right and one of the things i want i want i thought about this and let me show this to you real quick and, and brother jack i'm gonna let you read the scripture in a second uh what i was thinking about when i went back and studied when we was talking about the uh this the gospel we're talking about the full gospel now right i'm talking about the full gospel and i noticed the first one they had and i, I I listened to them based on the number of times they were mentioned that their first one was the gospel of Christ. I'm thinking the most important part is when you go walk to wherever you walk to in this walk of life is that you walk under the power of the anointing and you walk under the agenda that God gave you. I mean, we get, he gave you the agenda, right? Go preach, go teach the gospel to all nations that includes talking about the gospel of the kingdom that is critical because they need to understand that you are we are now talking about another system of government for your life Amen. but also i want to talk about the fact that brother as you kind of brought it up when you're talking about the healing is i want you to walk into the power of the gospel Right? I need you to understand, just like Adam, you had dominion. I gave you dominion. I gave you and Adam and Eve dominion. And you failed to execute the dominion I gave you. And you allow that, that devil to come in and give you another, I don't call it gospel. I guess you call it gospel. Yeah, yeah. But I gave, I'm giving you something. Somebody gave you something other than what I told you to do. Now, we as Christians, as believers, have been given the anointing to preach and teach this gospel. And we need to understand we have to execute our dominion and power that goes with it. So, Brother, Brother Jackson, this scripture right here, I'd like you to read. I, when I list one, let, let, let Brother Addison read it. My dogs are barking in the background. I'm about to mute myself. Okay. Go ahead, Brother Addison. Okay. Romans 1.16. Yes, sir. <clears throat> for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, yes, Come on. for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it. Come on, to the Jews the first, and also to the Greek. Okay, Romans 15, 19. Through mighty signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, yes. so that from Jerusalem and round about unto uh, Elysium, I guess I said that right. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I have fully preached the gospel. <laughs> of Christ. Of Christ. Yes, sir. Uh, 15 to 29. And I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. Come on now. First, first Corinthians uh, 9, 12. If others be partakers of this power over you, are not we rather? Nevertheless, we have not used this power, but suffer all things, lest we should hinder the gospel of Christ. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, First Corinthians 9, 18. What is my reward then? Verily that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Christ without charge, uh -huh. that I abuse not my power in the gospel. Yes, sir. Next one. Those last two, I, I need to, to, I guess I need to read those in, okay. in content. Okay. To, to get a better understanding of those, but I'll, I'll go further. Uh, mm -hmm. Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the well, gospel. I'm sorry, I, did, I, put, I, said, I, put the, I went back because you said you wanted to go back. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you want, to, uh, you want to see those in content or what? Well, 9, 12, and, and 19. Yeah, they go together. Okay. Uh, exactly. I, if I, others be partakers of this power over you, right? I mean, what, what, what is that pertaining to? Well, the thing about it, first of all, is that you, you mean Christ say, All power has been given unto me. Mm -hmm. 
And I wanted to, the emphasis I want to show is that when you're talking about walking in the anointing, or you're walking in Christ, or you're talking about the Spirit of God upon you, you're talking about all the power, you're walking in the power and authority. And then he said, don't abuse that power. This leads to the last one. One that said, I'm not going to charge you with this power because it's not chargeable anyway, right? That power is given unto you as well as given unto Paul. Correct? Yes. And he, but he need. I wanted to make sure the emphasis is that you have power as a Christian, as a believer. And that power is to cast out devils, lay hands on the sick, to preach the gospel, to forgive like you were talking about one time before, right? To love is that, that is power. power. Uh, that is the power. Yes, the power you have a gift. I like the fact when he said, The Spirit of the Lord has rested upon me. God is saying that when the day of Pentecost, the, the Holy Spirit, the power rested on all of them. Right? Can, can you imagine an environment where people are that much in love with each other? Woo! It, 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 it's a funny thing because when, you remember when Paul said, Though I speak with the tongues of angels and of men. But I have not love or charity. I have become a sounding brass and a tinkling right. symbol. Uh -huh. He talked about knowing all prophecy and all mystery and having faith cast in my new mountain. Woo! <laughs> but didn't have the love of God in them. They, they, it, was, it was all pain. Come on. So I, I, I'm, I'm getting to. Oh, I'm all, all still going. So I'm making the disclosure. I'm beginning to understand the crucial importance of, of, of really loving people. Yes, sir. You gotta have the love of God flowing through you. So we had, we get in these conversations, and I know I seem totally detached when I'm talking about homosexuals as far as the love of God is concerned. But the effectiveness of impacting these people's lives is based on the love of God. Anybody caught up in sin, any kind of thing like that, in darkness, in order to be effective at removing that from them, you're gonna have to have the love of God operating through you, because that's the only thing that's gonna really move that demon that's that that's actually afflicting. And, and, but 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 you know to to, to really on, on a personal note begin to embrace the necessity to have charity toward the people that I'm, I'm, I, we have been given to minister to. And you've been given power to minister. minister. Given power, and that That's power right. is love. You That's cannot right. effectively minister to people that you do not care about. Right. You cannot effectively minister to folks or rule over folks or, 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 or govern people. And I think we have a. A prime example of that in the, in the office now in the United States of America, the, the head of state has no compassion toward the people that he governs. Consequently, he does it in such a manner that it's abuse to them. And that abuse is just manifesting itself in himself. So I think I'm beginning to realize that if I don't have that love in me, regardless of what I do in the street, uh, what words I give them or what knowledge, because Paul addresses all of that. If I do not have the charity and the, the compassion of God operating through me, then I become a sounding brass and a tinkling cymbal. I'm just making noise. And, 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 and that's not a hard thing to lose sight of because sometimes I get caught up in understanding the mysteries of the, of the kingdom and, and forget why God revealed those mysteries to us anyway. Right. Uh, it's, I, I, it, 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 it is, <laughs> the root of all this is, is love, but basically. You, you, can't, you can't share the gospel. <laughs> And not love the people that you're sharing it to. I mean, how, how, what what are they going to hear? Right. You know, are, are they hearing you? Nothing. Or are they going to hear God? So without love for these people, they're going to hear you. And you know, I like the fact that he defined love by the fact of John 3, 16 and 7. He's saying this, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right? Mm -hmm. In other words, he said, not only I'm going to tell you it's love that did this, mm -hmm. I'm going to demonstrate and define what that love is, right? To give him my son. And if, if you love somebody, that means you have to die to yourself. You will die to yourself. Come on now, to do the things of his will. That's what you want to do, yeah. Well, I mean, even it's been brought up here recently, I believe, I believe uh, Pastor Lee, he said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciple. If you have love for one another. Which so is interesting, yeah. If 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 and, and which goes right back to the point, if if you're speaking to a people 
and your love is not for that people, then you're not you're not speaking on behalf of God. There, there, you can't be. Well, you're I, just speaking. So, and, and, and there is a different, and I guess that's where the, the anointing comes in. Exactly. Yeah. So, Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, if, 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 uh, pardon? Let me step in right quick uh, just to kind of make a point. Uh, all of this got started with the kingdom of God. The yes, gospel sir. of peace. So, so, so can you put the list back up to here? That was the list. Yes, I sir. Saw. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One second. I, I just, I just want now to try to provoke you, uh, each of you, as well as myself, to really kind of think about. Uh, now, now, let me ask you a question. I'm, I'm just curious. So you've got. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine islands up there. Now, are, are you proposing that the gospel, that, 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 that the, in the kingdom of God, uh, regarding that kingdom, there are different flavors of the gospel? I'm proposing that when the, the scripture, let's go before that, the uh, scripture before it said, we start off with the Great Commission, and it said here, when it said, go and preach the gospel uh, to all nations, mm -hmm. that we would, what, me, that's the teaching one, excuse me, the next one is, it, this is one that started off, when he said, go, verse 15, and he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The the point we were talking about last week was that should we insert that and say, go preach the kingdom of God? And then I was saying is, well, I think he's talking about the entire aspect of the gospel because then that list came up of how many variations of the gospel is, is being mentioned throughout the Bible that why he didn't specify a particular form of the gospel to me is telling go preach the gospel which includes the gospel of christ the gospel of god, the gospel let me, let me read the verse to you uh, everywhere i can find that it's always the same thing yeah now that's why i got i have it right here uh the gospel this is jesus uh right here jesus did i found four verses for the God for the kingdom, these are all referenced to Jesus. Uh, at least two, three of them. It says in Matthew 4, 23, and Jesus went unto all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manners of sickness and all manners of disease among the people. That's Matthew 4, 23? That's 4, 23. And then Matthew 9, 35, and Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all sickness and every disease among the people. Uh, Matthew 24, 14. Yes. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Okay. All right, that's good. Now put the list back up. I'm sure it kind of help you see some. Uh, one of the ones, one of the ones I love is, is Mark one fourteen, which says uh, that Jesus came and gathered and preached the gospel of the kingdom of God. Now, now here's now I've done a study on this. Particularly if you do a study on the kingdom of God, you'll have to you have to deal with this aspect of it. Uh -huh. So you got the gospel of Christ, the gospel of God, the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of peace. All these things, and I, and I submit to you that all of these things, all of these things are nothing more than either indirect ways of referring back to this third one, which is the gospel of the kingdom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, for example, the gospel of Christ, what the scripture is trying to tell you is that this is the gospel that Christ preached. Right. Yeah. Preach. 
But what Christ preached was the gospel of the kingdom. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You follow me? Yeah. Now the gospel of the kingdom, this gospel of the kingdom has in it uh, uh, the, the coming, Jesus himself said, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world give it. That inside of the gospel of the kingdom, it centers upon Christ as the centerpiece. Yes, sir. When you're talking the gospel of the kingdom, you're really talking about God giving of Christ for the purpose of establishing the kingdom. Yes, sir. So the kingdom of God really centers upon Christ. And so when you preach the gospel of the kingdom, you cannot divorce the kingdom from Christ. You cannot. Amen. Because Christ brings to us peace. The, there's an element of the gospel that you can call it the gospel of peace. Yeah, there it but is. But it's really the gospel of the kingdom. Yeah. So what you find, what happens is, is that indirectly all of these men are talking about what Christ preached. For example, the gospel of his son. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but all of that's really talking about is the gospel that Jesus preached, which is the gospel of the kingdom. <laughs> That the kingdom of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord, of his Christ. Yes, yes sir. Kingdom. Yes, sir. So, so it is. Now, if you if you look at this thing called the charisma, uh, the charisma, there, there, there's some theologians long ago who actually wanted to define what the gospel is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Rudolf Boltman and you start looking at those guys and they'll start telling you if you look at the word charisma, uh, I think it's K-R, I'll find it for you. But the charisma says there's supposed to be a smear. things that are included in the gospel. If these things are not there, uh -huh. you missed it. That's not been preached. Exactly. <laughs> but 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 the, the, but so when you when you hear all these, these different uh descriptions, right? All really talking about uh that gospel that Jesus did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Jesus is always, and so you, when, when Jesus is teaching, whether it's on the Sermon on the Mount or whether he gives a parable, what you're going to always find central to his teaching is the kingdom. Uh-huh. Okay. And when you think in terms of a kingdom, think in terms of not only a ge geographical or your people, but you think in terms of a set of rules and regulations, you know what I'm saying? And Cover the gospel it. of the kingdom is, is the, the kingdom of God is built on the principle of love. So in the distribution of power and distribution of application in the kingdom is in, 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 in alignment with love, in alignment with God himself. And, 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 and that's that's the crux of it again. Again, without this element of love, all of this stuff is dead in the water. Again, it's amazing because Jesus Christ himself was the manifestation of love. His ways, his work manifested the love of God. He himself was the manifestation of the love of the Father. He was given to us for that sake. He fills us with his spirit. So it's the love of God that's filling us through the Holy Ghost. So a distribution of power and application of it is going to be in, 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 in alignment with that love that is God, that is life. That, and that, that's a wonderful thing. This thing is getting to be a lot simpler. So like, I think the, an old grandmother had a, a much farther, a, see, a deeper understanding of what we studied. The old grandmothers who couldn't read, but loved everybody. Right. They loved yeah. the, the slave owners. They even loved the slave owners. That's why, and I think that is what God is demonstrating to us in this dispensation, is that he himself, who is love, who has power, all power in heaven and the earth, and who raises up one people and pull down another, right. will elevate that people and that person who demonstrates the greatest amount of love toward the people that they're given to, not lord over, but the minister to. In the kingdom of God, our elevation is by the, the demonstration of the love of God in us. How many people do we actually edify of the strength and empower by what God has given us. Uh, but in the fact that other the fact we're talking is that we're talking about the type of love of God, and we're talking about the fact is that that love is within His kingdom, right? Yes. Sir. And it's demonstrated through the preaching of Christ about the fact that He was going to 
He had to die, he had to suffer so that we could have access into the kingdom. But right? you, 